So if you're going to use the sale order line to connect uh, to the invoice line, you need to identify the fields on each of those models, which you're going to use to connect the two pieces. So I personally go to the models, and then I look at the model that I'm, I'm trying to identify, right? Like, for example, the sale order line. So I think it's sales order line. Here it is. And now on here, you'll see if I search invoice, you'll be able to filter out by invoice lines. And now on the, so that's how you know there's one connection moving into the invoice line. And now if I go to the invoice lines, and I open this up, I should have something for sale. Let's see. There it is, sale line IDS. Perfect. So what I'm going to do is, I'll show you now. Go to models, and I'm going to create a new field on the sale order line. And I'll just create something called with. And we'll make this a float field to keep it simple. Save it. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the invoice lines, account invoice line, sale line ID yes. Okay, and now I'm going to create my with field here. Make it a field type of float and related field, sale line IDS dot X with ID. I like to put ID there. Save it. Oops, I screwed something up. That's why it should be underscore ID because it's underscore ID here too. Those have so you can name it whatever you want, but just make sure that what you call for when looking at the related field little formula that it's the same as you know what you what you want it to be. Now, once I do that, if I go to the order, I actually go to quotes, create. I'll use studio to drop that with field into my order line. There it is. And now I will go to the invoice to drop the with field into the invoice line. Where is it? That's why I have to click edit, then I can add. Now, let's go through the flow. So I can do order, create, John Doe, product X. Just, these are dummies, so then I can put 12 for 550, excuse me, confirm the sale, create the invoice, and it'll carry forward width is now equal to 12. So if you look back at how I set that field up, right? And obviously before I do that, just to, you know, once I validate the invoice and move forward with the record, you can, you know, validate this. You can edit with studio. Now, because it's on the invoice line, you can go into the invoice report, right? And I could go in here and add a, um, a field and column. And from here, I could pull from the invoice line and pull my width field right, right onto the PDF report. So now when I go and I want to print out my invoice, voila, width is now part of that invoice. So very cool stuff. Um, so what you, just to kind of refresh here, when I go to, actually I'll go to the invoice, and I pull that invoice up, and I look at what's happening behind that field with, this is it, right? I'm calling, find the sale order line with the same ID and pull the width and use this field on the sale order line, X with ID. So yeah, it's different than this field, right? This field belongs to that model. This field belongs to the invoice line model. So you're going to want to pull the X with ID field from the sale line IDS in order to populate this field with whatever this particular whatever value is held in this field on that model. So that's just something uh, you should be able to run with. Um, if you have any additional questions, let me know. Thanks.